Hi guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a brand new score in the free music notation software called MuseScore. So what you're going to do first is you're going to follow the link in the description of the video that I have posted below to the MuseScore website and you're going to download it to whatever system you have. In this case, I am on a Windows operating system so I downloaded the version for Windows. When you first open up the program, what you're going to want to do is create a new score. So you're going to click right here where there's the little box with the plus, and you're going to click it. And if you wanted to have a, have a title, subtitle, composer, lyricist, or a copyright date or information, you can go ahead and type it in. So for an example for right now, I'm just going to title this Untitled. And for Composer, I'm going to just put my name. Then you're going to click Next. And you can either choose instruments, you can do a generic treble clef, bass clef, or a grand staff template, choral, SATB, organ, piano, closed score, closed score and organ, etc., etc., chamber music, like string quartet, wind quartet, saxophone quartet, brass quartet, solo instruments, big band jazz combos, rock band is under popular, or just concert band and orchestral. So for this, I'm going to show you how to do it if you're going to choose your own instruments. I'm going to click here where the brass instruments are. I'm going to choose a trumpet and I'm going to go and click add. And it's going to show up over here and you can edit the staff type if you want. In this case it doesn't have the option to. Um, you can also change to uncommon instruments like jazz instruments. You could have a flugelhorn. Um, you could also do ethnic instruments like a didgeridoo or a vuvuzuela. You could also do early music instruments like Baroque trumpets, cornet, cornetti, serpent, etc. So I'm going to go back to common instruments and I'm going to add another instrument and I'm going to add piano. And then if I wanted to change the order of them, you would click this to change that. Then I'm going to go to next. Now you can add a key signature if you want. In this case, I'm just going to have it be in C major. Time signatures if you want, number of measures which you can always edit at any time, and then I'm going to click finish. And there you go. This is how you create your basic score and next time we'll talk about how you can actually input the notes and subsequently start composing. Thanks for watching.